June 24th of 1992 to be exact. One day after my 27th birthday and three days before my wedding. I was on my way to work driving my 1988 red Corvette from LaPorte, Texas to downtown Houston in which I worked for an oil company in one of the tall skyscrapers in downtown. I was driving down 225. You go through Deer Park and Pasadena. It's the refinery district of Houston, Texas. I was driving down on my way to work like always. Probably not driving the speed limit and jamming to some ZZ Top. When all of a sudden, out of the blue, this huge piece of pipe comes flying at me. It hits the hood of the car, leaves a scratch and dent inside the hood about that long. Crashes out the windshield. The whole windshield ends up in my lap. But where did the pipe go? Where did it go? Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about mental illness, depression, anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder, and how I help others overcome this and why you can work with me. This pandemic, statistics show mental illness is gonna be on the rise, off the charts. People are gonna have anxiety, depression, suicides, post-traumatic stress, and not just from the illness itself, but also from the, the impact on the society, on social and economic. And it's likely to be severe. I know a lot about severe post-traumatic stress. I was diagnosed with severe post-traumatic stress disorder in 2002. My marriage in 1992 to Kenny was splattered with abuse, splattered. But we had two awesome boys, Kyle born in 1996 and Cody born in 1998. Both of my boys, especially my baby recently, graduated from Texas Christian University. Ironically, it's the same university my grandfather, Dr. William Thomas Ingram Jr., got his master's in theology. Yeah. So my marriage was splattered with abuse. Not a great place to be all kinds of abuse. I lived a very sheltered life before I met Kenny, so I didn't know families like that existed. And it was uh, very traumatic for me to say the least. We just weren't meant to be. So when he filed for divorce in 2000, I thought, wow, this is my ticket out of here. Maybe now we can just get along and co-parent and raise these boys together. Not the case. Because within a year of our divorce, he married his secretary, who was a dancer before that, which is where they met. And she was married too at the time, but they both got divorced and then she married Kenny. As soon as she married him, she tried to take over to be my kid's mom, desperately tried to push me out of the picture. As a mama bear, if you're a mama bear, yeah, no, that's not easy to do. But I had to let go of a lot of stuff because they abused the court system. He used his money. She was extremely mean and bullying in all kinds of ways. She actually won't even let Kenny talk to me, even to this day. Even though I harbor no resentment because I know resentment is not healthy. 
I harbor absolutely no resentment. But our custody battle went on for 14 years. So I endured a lot, but I overcame it. And I like to think I help others to do the same. That's what I enjoy doing. That's what I'm passionate about. So let's go back to 1992. Where did that pipe go? I often ask that question. For many years, I asked that question. I thought, where in the hell did that pipe go? Well, it was revealed to me in meditation where that pipe went. You see, in that split second, which lasted more than that because it was pretty impactful, my guardian angel told me, said, hey, Kathy, guess what? You can take this piece of pipe and go right now. Come be with me. Come on, it's going to be fun. Or, or you can stay and endure hell, nights on the floor, alcohol addiction, depression, major anxiety, where you're losing sleep at night. But with my help, you're going to overcome it. And you're going to help others. It's your choice. But you got to choose now. Because here it comes. 